Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss very important physical properties of elements. That is the types of elements. Depending on the types of elements in the periodic table, there are three types: metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Here is a comparison between the properties of metals and non-metals. That is, metals. Metals are those elements which have tendency to lose electrons. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. They allow the passage of electricity through them due to the presence of free electrons. Metal exists usually in the solid state, except mercury. Mercury is that metal that exists in the form of liquid. Metals have shiny appearance. Next, the metallic character increases in groups from top to bottom due to the increase of atomic radius. And the last and the most important point is metals form basic oxides. In this lecture, we we have to focus this topic basic oxides. While there are some properties of non-metals. Non-metals are those elements which have tendency to gain electrons because they do not have free electrons to allow the passage of heat and electricity. So, non-metals are usually insulated. Non-metals exist in three states: gas, liquid, and solid state. Non-metals have usually dull appearance except iodine iodine is non metal but still lustrous because of its large size it shows some metallic characteristics non metallic character increases from left to right in the period due to the decrease of atomic radius the last and the most important property is non metals form acidic oxides Here in this periodic table, I am showing you three different colors, sky blue, green, and yellow color. The sky blue color is for the metals and you can see that majority of the elements, about 70% of the elements in the periodic table are metals. At the extreme right of the periodic table, upper right of the periodic table, these yellow portion elements are non-metals. Between metals and non-metals, there is stairs of elements showing with the green color. These few elements are metalloids. Metalloids have the properties between metals and non-metals. Today, we are going to discuss oxides. There are some oxides, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, calcium oxide, carbon monoxide, zinc oxide, barium oxide, nitrous oxide, or nitrogen dioxide. Among these, calcium, zinc, and barium are metals. So they, these three are metallic oxides. While carbon, sulfur, nitrogen, these are non-metals. So, these three are non-metal oxides. When metallic oxides react with water, H2O, they form, you can see that, bases. Calcium oxide react with water and form calcium hydroxide. Zinc oxide react with water and form zinc hydroxide. Barium oxide reacting with water and forming barium hydroxide. It means metal oxides, whenever they react with water, they form bases. While when carbon dioxide reacts with water, it forms H2CO3 carbonic acid. SO2 reacts with water and forms sulfurous, sulfurous acid. NO2 reacts with water and forms nitric acid. When pH is to be checked for these three solutions, we can check that their pH value is greater than 7. It means calcium hydroxide 
zinc hydroxides and barium hydroxides are bases it means we can conclude that metallic oxides are basic in nature while non metallic oxides are usually acidic in nature their ph value is less than 7 and the solutions having ph value less than 7 are usually acidic here is a trend in which we can say that when we move from left to right across the periodic table metallic character decreases while non metallic character increases when we move from top to bottom in the periodic table metallic character increases while non metallic character decreases there is few exception we have just discussed that the elements which are metallic their oxides are basic while the elements which are non metals they form acidic oxides beryllium zirconium and zinc aluminium germanium tin lead arsenic antimony these elements form amphoteric oxides amphoteric oxides means they have both the properties of acids as well as bases while the sky blue portion these elements are typically non metals so that's why they form acidic oxides while at the very extreme right of the periodic table this is noble gases group they are least reactive say so we can say that they do not form oxides in normal conditions while these arrow sh uh, orange shaded elements these are metals and metals form basic oxides there are two elements carbon and nitrogen these two elements can form both acidic as well as neutral oxides while hydrogen form neutral oxides we can conclude our topic that metallic oxides are basic in nature while non metallic oxides are acidic in nature whenever they react with water thank you